So let's go ahead and write out that logic that we discussed. Excuse me, QTP is weird sometimes. Ugh, that's so frustrating. I want to write out do while, but it won't let me because as soon as I push space, it creates look. It creates a loop while. Anyways, I guess let me copy this. Paste it there. That's kind of a pain. Uh, do while, we need our file. And let me make sure that I open the file. So let's take this. And now, do while, our obj file, at end of stream. See, you, can, you guys can also see the IntelSense is helping you uh, tell you what this method, in this case, uh, property is doing. And we need it equal to false. So, while this file is not at the end of the stream, we're going to read from it. So, remember how I told you to read from it? We need this variable and concatenate it with obj file dot read line. This is reading line by line, guys. As you guys can see right here, look, there's also a read all method. But let's read line by line first. Okay, great. So let me run up to here so that I can show you guys exactly what's going on because I think if you see it, it will make much more sense. So if we do that. Now we have the do while loop. Is this false? Let's see. Oh, and of course, excellent thing that happened here. You guys see this error, bad file mode? It's because I was showing you guys how to write into files. And remember, we have a variable when we open text file. I opened it with constant 8, which means for appending. We want to open it for reading. So just keep that in mind for appending, for writing, and for reading. You need to pass in different constants here. I copied and pasted it from the previous example, so that's why I totally forgot to change that constant. Anyways, let's do it again. Step in. Now look at that. This statement is true. So do while true, we're going to step in. And now, check this out. And of course, need to declare this variable. But you guys see how useful that is? to be forced to declare variables because if I misspelled it for some reason it I would run into some big problems okay one last time here.